From the very beginning people thought that you could build an army for high-end conventional warfare on the fly. It can't be done. The armies take years to develop. To build their culture has to evolve. They have to have an officer corps that evolves into a professional force. They need institutions that support the training, the equipping, and the organization. None of these things were in place. Now throwing new pieces of equipment whether they're obsolete or relatively modern, this isn't going to change anything. And I think that's the frustration that we saw in Mr. Zinni. He was furious, angry, distraught. He thought that he was going to be embraced, that we were going to extend the nuclear umbrella per se to him by making him part of NATO. He didn't get what he wanted. Welcome to our in-depth analysis of the unfolding military saga in Ukraine, now entering its 777th day, in a world riff with media biases and fleeting headlines, we bring you an exclusive comprehensive look from a perspective seldom heard the Russian strategic lens tonight's report enriched with intricate details and lesser known facets, promises to unveil the complexities of this prolonged conflict, our focus transcends the ordinary diving deep into the chessboard of military strategy where every move reverberates with geopolitical consequences. As we dissect these crucial developments we also shed light on the insights of former U.S. Colonel Douglas McGregor, a voice that echoes with experience and often untold truth stay with us as we navigate through this labyrinth of warfare where each twist and turn in the Ukrainian landscape could redefine the future of this region in the shadow of world attention, the Russian military has been tactically advancing on multiple fronts, each move calculated with precision. Our latest intelligence reveals an intensified campaign in Ukraine notably marked by escalated reconnaissance efforts. This surge is not a mere increase in activity but a clear harbinger of large-scale operations poised to unfold just within the past 24 hours. The skies above Ukraine have witnessed an unprecedented number of Russian UAVs, a testament to the meticulous planning that underpins these operations in the northwest. Near the borders with Lvia, Lithuania and Estonia, these aerial maneuvers signal potential preparations for, for an offensive reminiscent of the recent impactful strikes near St. Petersburg. Meanwhile in the heart of the conflict zone, Russian forces have unleashed a series of tactical strikes targeting key Ukrainian positions with an intensity unmatched in recent weeks, notably in the strategically vital region of Odessa. A recent offensive has decisively engaged over 300 Ukrainian military personnel, delivering a significant blow to their operational capabilities. This engagement, characterized by its surgical precision, is just one example of the changing dynamics on the ground. It's a pattern of strategic targeting aimed at undermining the very backbone of Ukrainian resistance. With these developments in mind, we turn our focus to specific tactical engagements. In the coming moments we delve deeper into the intricate operations in Odessa and along the northwest frontier, where each Russian move writes a new chapter in this ongoing saga in the strategic theater of Odessa. Russian operations have entered a new phase of calculated aggression recent intelligence indicates. A significant surge in activity, a targeted offensive on a major Ukrainian military encampment identified as a nexus of their operational strength. This site, previously bustling with over 300 Ukrainian troops, was struck with precision, leading to grave outcomes. Official figures point to a stark reduction in Ukrainian military presence in this zone, hinting at extensive losses and a strategic setback for their forces. But the story in Odessa extends beyond this single event. The city's landscape has become a chessboard of strategic moves, with Russian forces systematically targeting not just military, but also infrastructural assets. These include energy facilities and communication networks, crippling the operational capabilities of Ukrainian forces. The scale of these strikes, meticulously orchestrated, underlines the intensification of Russian efforts in this key coastal city. Shifting our focus to the northwest border, we enter a domain of high-stakes military strategy. Here, Russian forces have displayed a blend of guerrilla and military tactics, conducting a series of calculated strikes across this volatile frontier. The scope of these operations is vast, encompassing a network of strategic locations. UAV reconnaissance has increased manifold, setting the stage for meticulously planned assaults. These unmanned flights, some numbering in the dozens per day, are not merely for surveillance but form the backbone of a larger covert strategy. The result has been a series of swift and decisive strikes, each causing substantial disruption to Ukrainian defenses. In a notable instance, a critical Ukrainian ammunition depot was neutralized, impacting their long-term ability to sustain offensive operations in the region. This pattern of strikes, 
seen in conjunction with the bolstering of Russian troops along the border, points to a strategic insert cement aiming to isolate key Ukrainian positions. In examining the unfolding events in Odessa and the northwest border, we discern a pattern of strategic consolidation by Russian forces. These moves, significant in both scope and impact, signal a critical pivot in the ongoing conflict. As we continue, we'll explore the broader ramifications of these developments, shedding light on the evolving dynamics of this enduring struggle. As we cast our gaze along the northwest border, a pivotal arena in this conflict, we witness a masterclass in strategic warfare from Russian forces. Here, the orchestration of military might is both evident and impactful. A series of offensives have been methodically launched, each designed to systematically erode Ukrainian defenses and sever their logistical lifelines. These maneuvers aren't sporadic but part of a cohesive strategy. Crafted to exploit vulnerabilities in the Ukrainian front, the numbers speak volumes. Significant troop movements have been recorded with Russian forces deploying advanced units and substantial artillery reinforcements. These deployments, including the mobilization of armored divisions and support battalions, indicate a preparation for sustained operations. As a result, key Ukrainian positions have been compromised, with notable disruptions to their supply chains and communication networks. The effectiveness of these strikes is not merely speculative, it's quantifiable. With Ukrainian equipment losses mounting, including the decimation of several crucial ammunition depots and command centers. Adding a dimension of expert analysis to our understanding of these developments is former U.S. Colonel Douglas McGregor, a seasoned military strategist. Colonel McGregor has lauded the efficacy of the Russian offensives, noting their strategic acumen and depth of reserves. He points to a stark contrast with the Ukrainian forces, which, according to him, are nearing their operational limits. Furthermore, McGregor emphasizes the delayed impact of the U.S.'s significant $60 billion support package, suggesting that its effects are yet to materialize on the ground. This viewpoint underscores the urgency of the situation for Ukraine and highlights the current momentum that Russian forces have gained in this critical sector. In light of these comprehensive offensives and the insights from military experts, it becomes increasingly clear that the dynamics along the northwest border are rapidly evolving. This not only reshapes the immediate battlefield but also bears significant implications for the future trajectory of the conflict. Let us now delve into these future implications, exploring how the current strategies could redefine the broader military landscape. As we scrutinize the current tapestry of the conflict, it's evident that the Russian military's recent operations have set in motion a strategic pivot, one with far-reaching implications. The continuous application of pressure on Ukrainian defenses is not just reshaping the immediate battlefield, but also forging a new paradigm in regional power dynamics. An in-depth analysis of troop deployments and logistical maneuvers reveals a sophisticated Russian strategy designed for long-term dominance. The numbers are telling. Substantial increases in Russian troop concentrations and artillery deployments suggest a strategy for sustained engagement. Moreover, the strategic relocation of Russian supply lines and the establishment of advance could a shift in operational bases potentially alter the balance of power in a global conflict. This question is more pertinent now than ever, as we observe a trend towards more permanent positioning and consolidation of foothold in key areas. This methodical advancement, characterized by its depth and breadth, hints at a future where the scales of power could tip significantly. In the context of these developments, the insights of former U.S. Colonel Douglas McGregor offer a poignant perspective. Colonel McGregor, renowned for his astute military analysis, observes that Russia's operations have been highly effective. They display a level of strategic planning and reserve capacity that positions them advantageously for future engagements. He contrasts this with the situation faced by Ukrainian forces, which, in his assessment, are approaching their operational brink. This viewpoint gains particular relevance in light of the delayed impact of the U.S.'s significant financial aid package to Ukraine. McGregor believes this aid has yet to influence the conflict's trajectory in any meaningful way. This analysis suggests a window of opportunity for Russian forces to further entrench their positions and potentially reshape the conflict's direction before additional external support materializes for Ukraine. To encapsulate, the current developments signal a critical juncture in the conflict. Russia's calculated military strategies are not just responding to the present, but are actively sculpting the future of this conflict. This evolving scenario poses new challenges and opens uncharted territories in modern warfare. 
As we continue to monitor these developments, stay tuned for comprehensive and up-to-date analysis of how these strategies unfold and reshape the landscape of conflict in Ukraine. This is a tale of power, strategy, and the unyielding march of change. So keep your eyes on the horizon and your ear to the ground.